Hello, beautiful soul family. We are in the portal of Dia de los Muertos, the time to honor our ancestors. My name is Tlazoteo Chikumecoatl Kalishakti, and it's my honor and my privilege. I felt really guided to create this video today about how to honor our ancestors. If there's any question, if there's any doubts, that this is a divine right we all have to honor our ancestors. And in the Mexica tradition, in Mexico specifically, this beautiful holy days, because in the Mexica tradition, they honor the ancestors all year, all the time, but especially in the month of October. It is known that the full moon in October is the most potent full moon of the year. And in the month of October, we celebrate Dia de los Muertos, honoring our ancestors, calling them in, connecting with them as the veils are thinning. Honestly, they honor the ancestors almost the whole month of October. And it's almost more important than per se, the holiday of quote-unquote Christmas. It's that important. It's that celebrated. I'm burning some copal to clear and cleanse and purify. And in the moon dance tradition, Danza de la Luna, I'm a moon dancer, um, we always burn copal, offering to the essences, the elements, the directions, the spirit guardians for purification, for transformation, for blessings. Always honoring them and thanking them with infinite gratitude. And with infinite gratitude in my heart and from my heart to yours about the ancestors. Know that you can honor your ancestors in whatever intuitive way feels good for you. Many years ago, I was taught by a very honored Babalao. When I lived in Miami, Florida, I was surrounded by the beautiful Cuban community. And all the twists and turns and celebratory energies of Santeria. And honoring the ancestors, I was taught really important in different paths as well, that bringing the elements, meaning Grandfather fire, Abuelo Huehueteot, in the Nahuatl language, Huehueteot means great, great grandfather. Grandfather fire, Abuelito Fuego, honoring mother waters, honoring Padrecito Viento, Father wind, our breath, our voice, how we communicate when we sing songs, sacred medicine songs. And Mother Earth, Wei Tonansing, Pachamama, Mother Gaia, Mother Earth. And to honor our ancestors, I invite you, you can place a bowl of water, flowers as the element of earth or crystals or earth from wherever you live, literally soil, light a candle. You can burn some incense. If you have pictures of your ancestors, and it doesn't just have to be family, although that's really important, that would be the most basic, the most important, closest to you ancestors. It can be teachers, uh, mentors, loved ones, friends four-legged, winged beings, creepy crawlies, serpent beings, marine beings. Remembering that our ancestors are not just from this lifetime, but from all the, if for those of you that are open to realizing, acknowledging in other existences, we still have the privilege and the divine right to connect to the ancestor wisdom of all other lifetimes. It can be all different types of ancestors. And in this month, it's just so accessible. It's visceral if we allow ourselves to connect. If we allow our heart chakras to open, even amongst all the great changes that are happening on our planet. 
You can honor your ancestors at home. It doesn't have to be in a public forum. Although there are beautiful places in um, cities, villages, where they're actually having like altars set up outside of their homes. Traditionally, we honor the ancestors at the cemetery. But if you don't have that ability, if you don't have access to the actual cemetery of your loved ones, you can honor your ancestors at home by lighting candles. Something that's very traditional in Mexico is to have marigold flowers and to trickle the petals of the marigold, sempasuchil flores they're called, from the beginning of like the, um, as you walk into the house to just trickle them along from the front door to the front yard to any trail to remind them, to guide them back home to where you are. And that's a really beautiful practice to do to just surround your home with the marigold flowers. We have that privilege to be able to connect with them and ask them for their guidance, for their wisdom. They've been through so much, each and every one of them, and they have wisdom. And I know that when I really started practicing honoring my ancestors, whether it be daily, weekly, once a week, light a candle, or even once a month and just set an altar in your home somewhere, if it's small, if it's very elaborate. Behind me, for me in my home, the most convenient place was in the kitchen. So every time I'm doing my dishes, I'm, the, I'm looking at Santa Muerte. That's a beautiful image of Santa Muerte. She's known as Lady Death, but honestly, she's all about life. This tradition and this honoring of the ancestors is really powerful, teaching us to not be afraid of death. In our society, we don't really embrace death. We're kind of afraid to talk about it. If we have to go to a funeral, we're like, we're really sorry. We don't like, it's not ingrained in our society and the way we grew up that death is okay. But death really is okay. And to me, this practice of the ancestors, of honoring my ancestors, of inviting them into my life and connecting with Santa Muerte allows me to celebrate life that much more. I just wanted to share these little nuggets, little reminders that we can celebrate and honor our ancestors at home, in public, if you want to create an altar for them outside, if that feels better for you, or if you want to create an ancestor altar inside, we bring, make meals, yummy snacks that you know your ancestors loved, and place them at the altar and honor them and feel them. And I know that they're blessing us in all ways. From my heart to yours, Wishing each and every one of you, including myself, a blessed ancestor, holy days, Dias de los Muertos. It's my honor and privilege to be here with you and just share this little bit of knowledge, this little bit of wisdom, these little nuggets. I hope it brings blessings to you. I hope it helps you heal your heart to honor your ancestors, to connect with them, and know that just because they are gone physically from this realm, they are not gone. Our ancestors are with us in every breath, and every image of beauty, and every butterfly, and every breeze, and every tree, and every rainbow when the rain falls from the sky, and all the goodness, and all the blessings, and the miracles that we are truly surrounded by. We just have to look. Thank you. From my heart to yours, blessing your heart, blessing your mind, and blessing your body. Take care.